All right, Action News meteorologist Adam Joseph is live in Pittsburgh, make that Plattsburgh, New York, <laughs> which was in the path of totality today. Yeah, Adam, what was the experience like for you there? Oh. You're right along Lake Champlain. Mm -hmm. Yes, a beautiful setting nonetheless, but let me tell you, my soul, I think, is still trying to find my body once again. Behind me is Lake Champlain. Across the pond there, the lake, you can see the white top snow cap mountains in Vermont. And this town has a residency of about 20,000, but there was an influx of people from Canada from all over the lower 48 driving in at the crack of dawn. From first light, Lake Champlain already had eclipse gazers staking out their spots. We are all here for the same reason, but came from different towns. From Rhode Island, Plymouth Meeting. West Windsor, New Jersey. In the Bronx. Penland. Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. Fairfax, Virginia. Leading up to the Super Bowl of celestial events, the mood was electric, cheerful, with new friendships being born between a group of photographers. I've never taken a picture uh, of the eclipse, so they've been helping me out a lot, and I feel a lot more comfortable now, so it's very interesting. <laughs> People fueled up, kids played catch, all to pass the time. As totality approached, the crowd was fixated on the last minutes of life. Fantastic. Fantastic to be out here with all these people looking at something natural and amazing. At 3.25 p.m., we all soaked in the sixth total eclipse to greet our country since 1950. And we are now officially, look at that, in totality. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look up at that thing. Oh. Then they, we got uh, Jupiter uh, right there. We can see uh, the planets. We got Venus, which is right to the 15 degrees south and east of that eclipse. And looking around here, you got a 360 degree sunset all the way around Lake Champlain. Um, one cannot even describe the feeling you have right now. Look at you starting to see the diamond ring. There's the diamond ring. Oh, as everything is coming to an end as the sunlight is returning. As the light returned, reality of what just happened set in for many. Like I knew it was going to be really awesome, but when it happened, it just was beyond what I could imagine. Oh. You know, I, I tell you, the unity of the human spirit is truly magical when you experiencing something like that. And talking with a lot of folks, they say that they're already planning their next total solar eclipse. 20 years from now, it's only in three states totality, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota. The next coast to coast will be one year later in 2045. And Rick, I talked to people who drove all the way down from Montreal, from Virginia, and they said that three minutes and 30 seconds that they saw this afternoon was totally worth it. And it, and it felt so cool because it was warm. And then when totality came in, mm -hmm. that temperature dropped. And the lake behind me just went completely flat. It was pretty amazing.